Stocks our strategists feel are poised to deliver positive returns are featured now in their Top Stock Picks of the Week. Welcome to this week's Top Stock Picks of the Week. I'm Tracy Reinick, and I'm joined this week by Shiraz Mian. And we have a couple of top stocks that are in kind of different areas, but both companies have been around for a long time. My stock is a food company. Shiraz is doing one of the largest retailers in the world. Both are uh, humming along here, despite all the economic challenges out there. My company is Archer Daniels Midland, ticker ADM, right here in my home state of Illinois. And they are a food and beverage nutrition, as they call it, type company. And what they make are food um, additives, ingredients, things like uh, starches, sweeteners, uh, edible oils, these kinds of items. But they also are on the pet food side now. And that side of the business is also humming because what ADM has found out is that people want their pets to be eating as well as they are. And they, you know, want the same kind of nutritional benefits and they want the healthy uh, type of food for their pet as well as for themselves. So a lot of changes are happening in the food area and ADM has been diving in on a lot of them. They've been tracking the trends. They release a press release every year about the trends in the food and nutrition areas, including, you know, the emphasis on wellness, social impact what's happening with what we're eating with the earth or the environment, um, you know, what what types of food like plant-based proteins that are popular now. And ADM has been moving into all of those areas and you can see it in their numbers. What does the earnings look like for ADM? Because it's looking pretty good. Let's dive right in and see. So ADM is a Zach's number one strong buy and you can see why the uh, estimates are on the rise over the last 30 days, both for this year, 2022, which is wrapping up soon, and next year, 2023, you get three estimates that have been raised with none cut for either year. Now, we do have kind of a situation which a lot of companies are going to have now with the earnings surging into this year up 42%. And then slight pullback next year, down 14%. But I know you're thinking, well, how can that be a number one with the cut for next year? Well, that's because the analysts were even more pessimistic before this last quarter about 2023. And now they've raised their estimates off those lows. So the estimates for both years are heading in the right direction. And that means up. And that's where you get the Zach's strong buy recommendation for um, any company and now for ADM because the analysts are all pretty bullish on both years even with the slight pullback next year they still are positive uh, you know things are looking good even with the kind of challenging economics that we have and coming off of this superb year with earnings up 42 percent now what does this look like on the chart Archer Daniels Midland shares are trading right there at the five-year highs, and they've been up 50% year-to-date here in 2022. Did have that big pullback there. That was a buying opportunity, and now are back to those highs. So a lot of people probably thinking, how much higher can this go? And earnings are expected to decline the 14% next year, as you can see on the chart with that brown line just below the blue there. But they're still actually cheap with a forward P.E. of just 13 here, even with the pullback in those earnings next year. So it's not expensive and everybody's still got to eat. Right. So these uh, food companies are in the spotlight and they've been able to raise prices to counter the inflationary pressures um, and there's been very little pushback from their customers or the consumer in general about these uh, rising food prices for now. Um, also, ADM has been around a long time and it is shareholder friendly, so it is paying a dividend yielding 1.6% right now. 
Let's take a look at what their earnings surprise track record is looking like. So this is very bullish as well. A lot of big beats here in 2022, three big beats in a row. So even though the analysts, uh, you know, they got a little pessimistic, but ADM kind of squashed that down with those big beats. And now the shares are being rewarded here with another possible breakout. But like I said, it's not very expensive and the food area is uh, you know one area that does have the bullish kind of momentum heading into 2022, even with that slight pullback in the earnings. The analysts got too pessimistic, and Archer Daniels Midland uh, still executing here as we head into the next year. So what is the stock that my colleague Shiraz Mian is going to bring you? It's one of the biggest retailers. He has all the details next. Thanks, Tracy. Uh, the stock I have is Walmart. Uh, full disclosure, I own a little bit of Walmart in my own account and have held the stock in the focus list portfolio that I manage here at Zacks uh, for the last many years and a very happy shareholder, uh, as you can imagine. Um, I'm pitching Walmart not as a play on holiday shopping or Cyber Monday. I'm pitching it as a long-term holding. Uh, that said, uh, management indicated in the, uh, in the quarterly call two weeks back, that they made a good start to the final quarter of the year. Uh, so if you were looking for a, a play on Q4, holiday shopping, perhaps you won't be off the mark with Walmart either. Uh, but it's a, a longer term play. And the reason for that uh, is simple. The primary being management's execution uh, and it's positioning to the current macro environment. So briefly on the execution front, we all know coming into this year, particularly after the Q1 results, we saw with Walmart, we saw with Target and a number of others, uh, the inventory buildup, the merchandising mismatch, they had patio furniture while customers were looking for suitcases. Um, the stock was down big following the Q1 report. Uh, they pre-announced in the summer too, so the problem wasn't fully uh, uh, addressed, took them some time. Uh, but we saw two weeks ago uh, that they are completely on top of it. Inventories were up about half of what the growth had been in the preceding quarter. Uh, about 12, 13% versus 25, 26% in Q2. Strong top line momentum comps as well as overall sales. Uh, and the momentum wasn't just in the stores in Walmart, also in Sam's Club, also on the digital side. So practically uh, the business is thriving and in addition to the inventory issue being in the rear view mirror now, uh, management indicated uh, that uh, they are seeing more newer customers in the fold, uh, more higher income consumers trading down to Walmart, uh, which uh, on a base case will be uh, 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 an inclusion and a benefit over the next year or two, uh, but uh, uh, on an optimistic outlook, uh, could be a big chunk of that cohort could remain part of the Walmart mix longer term uh, and uh, give the company a long-term boost. Uh, we saw that in the store, we saw that uh, in the e-commerce. So uh, the sum total of that you could see in Walmart shares uh, performance recently over the past year, WMT is up about 8%. The S&P 500 is down 15%. Target is down more than 30%. Uh, even Costco is down 4%. So uh, you see this vote of confidence from the market in Walmart strategy and outlook uh, and 
we remain confident that this performance momentum remains in place uh, over the coming periods as well. The stock isn't cheap. It's trading around 23 and change on a forward 12-month uh, earnings basis. Uh, if we look back the last five years, it has traded as high as about 27 times, as low as about 16. Uh, the median is about 22, so a shade above the five-year median. But given the positive outlook, given the company's positioning and placement in this uncertain macroeconomic and consumer environment, I think that premium is warranted, uh, and uh, I, I strongly believe that the performance momentum continues. Uh, that's it for uh, uh, this week's Top Stock Picks, folks.